right guys, this campaign has been going for seven months. If we can just defeat the Beholder Lich, we will uncover the ultimate treasure and win the campaign. I cast Bigby's Hand of Eye Poking. Don't fail me now. No! So are you sick of losing a dice roll at that very critical moment in your game? Well, today Callie and I are here to help you out. We think we've come up with a way to solve that problem once and for all. I'm gonna win all my campaigns now. It's very <laughs> fair. <laughs> Callie, you've got quite a bit more experience with making dice than I do. A little bit. You've helped your friends who work for a company making dice? Correct. I don't think we're going to be following all of those dice making best practices today, but uh, she did very kindly bring some dice molds so I don't have to make some. I could make dice molds, but these are so nicely made and she already had them available that we're just going to, we're going to use these. So mm -hmm. silicone molds made for D20, 20 sided dice, and we're going to attempt to make dice that will always get you that 20 in the critical moment. I'm really excited. You know what takes the sting out of a really bad dice roll? A hot, fresh, never frozen meal from today's sponsor, Factor. Factor takes the stress out of meal planning. You get to skip the grocery store, skip the prep work, skip the cooking. Instead, you just get chef crafted, dietitian approved meals, and they've got over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, and then if you've got vegan and veggie and more. Sometimes you're not looking for a full meal. Well, Factor has you covered there as well. They now offer a variety of snack options like breakfast, smoothies, juices, and more. So whatever you're looking for, they've got you covered. Now, sometimes I like cooking, but it's also really convenient sometimes to have a chef prepared meal already just ready to go in just a couple of minutes. So I really like the flexibility and how fast I can have a full meal. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code NFTI50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's code NFTI50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. Get chef prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factor's ready to eat meals. That way you get back to your game faster. Now, when making dice, when using a silicone mold to make mm -hmm. dice, what is the resin that is usually used? So normally we use a clear 24-hour cure resin. Uh, we can put pigments in, we put different little objects, flowers, things like that inside the dice, which is really, really cool. And then we put it in a pressure pot. So there's no bubbles, no imperfections. Like I said, 24 hours, you pop those dice out, they're gonna look beautiful. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> That is the proper resin, and that is the proper way to do that. But instead, I've got resin that cures in like 15 minutes. Oh, that's not clear. It is also not clear. However, you can still add pigment in a couple different ways. So okay. we are going to have some color. It's not just going to be the slightly off-white that this resin makes. No, no, no. It'll be good. But it's also going to be fast. And uh, first off, I just wanted to show, I want to demonstrate what this resin does, because it's kind of cool. So this resin mixes by volume. We're just doing equal parts of each side. Yeah, I've never seen resin resin measured by volume and not by weight, so this is gonna be fascinating. You've now got a nicely translucent, uniform color. We're going to pour it off into this cup. And now we're going to wait for about a minute. One minute later. Do a thing. Oh, well, there it is. Neat. That is a fast color change. We go from our nice clear amber to uh, oh, you can watch it a little more opaque. Book. So we are going to set these aside and let them completely finish their process and wait till they cool down a little bit. So if you cast a die out of that, it would just be a normal die. We don't want a normal die. We want an extraordinary die. We want a lucky die. We want, it's cheating. It's, it's cheating. a cheating. It's really cheating. Yeah. There's really um, no way around this. Only use this in D&D &D if you're playing like a rogue or a the paladins, right out. You can't. I don't know. Rogues do one thing really, really, really well, and we need this to be an all rounder, so. Hmm. If your alignment is lawful good, using this is this just. This is gonna be chaotic, neutral, and below. If we want to roll a 20, mm -hmm. uh, a 20 sided die is always set up so that 1 and 20 are on opposite sides. Yes. Which means that we want 1 facing down every time. So my thought is if we can make the 1 extremely heavy and the rest of the die very, very lightweight, we will get something where it always lands with the 1 down and the 20 up. I think there's actually two ways we can go about this. One is a sort of works in every situation mm -hmm. sort of thing. And for that, this is my plan. This little golden triangle is a carbide cutting insert. This is made of tungsten, which is one of the heaviest non-radioactive metals that exists. Okay, that's a lot heavier 
for the size that I was expecting. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be at the one. Of that's side. the goal, yes. Okay. Now that covers making one side heavier. Sure. But you need the other side to be a little bit lighter. You need like everything else to be lighter. Yeah. So my plan is these little styrofoam beads. These are very, very lightweight. We could fit a lot of them inside our dye mold. So I think if we fill most of the dye with this and have the one with this, which is conveniently at the bottom of the mold, mm -hmm. yes, makes manufacturing way easier. I think we can get a dye that is extremely lightweight, except on the one. So there are a few different ways that you can color dice. Uh, a lot of people are going to use inks, but if you use too much ink, you're gonna get like a gummy dye. It's not gonna be exactly what you want. Mica powder is another way to go. Now, from what I understand, none of the dice that we're making today are going to be any sort of clear resin at all with our mixtures. So the powder is gonna be our best bet for this. So the best idea there is you're gonna coat the inside of the silicone, putting it on the outside, and then when you pour the resin in, it's going to stick and you're gonna get a nice shine on the outside of your dice. What do you think? Should start with the uh, the copper or the blue. We've got two colors. Let's do blue. Let's do blue. Make right. it blue. <laughs> We're gonna try the standard size mold, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder and drop that into the mold. Right now, I'm going to just use this Q-tip, and I'm gonna spread it around on the inside, and I'm just dabbing against all of the silicone walls to make the dust stick. I don't have to do much. Anywhere this powder touches on the mold, it sticks to it. So we have our mold. Time to add our carbide insert. Goes into the mold. It really is almost the exact same size. We have to make sure that you can't tell we're cheating. What, what, what? us che cheating? Us? Ah, that sounds like, that doesn't sound right. All right, so now I'm going to stir the two resins together, pour some in. Here goes. All right, here's just a little bit of the resin added in. Moving around, happening, get into those nooks, crannies, and corners. All right, time for styrofoam beads to probably go. Oh, and, yeah, boy. yeah, oh. keep it. Oh. Just, oh, just yep. put it down right. next to it and just keep letting that happen until it's full. You're sticking like ice in the bottom of a glass. There we go. Okay. All right, and now we just try and get our resin to fill all the little nooks, crannies, and gaps and hope it's still liquid enough. I think I poured too much into here, so it's mm -hmm. getting too warm. Ooh. Oh no, it's uh -oh. kicking, uh -oh. it's kicking quick. Oh yeah, that's, look at that. Yeah. Let's try a bigger one. But let's so, not do the same thing this time. Agreed. Uh, I think we should do one that at least in some situations, uh, every single time guaranteed can't possibly Just dead on. miss. Yes. Okay. Instead of a weight at the bottom of it, we're going to put these little powerful neodymium magnets at the bottom of our die. You're gonna have to use a magnetic or metallic surface to roll it on. I admit that's not every surface, but when you are using one of those surfaces, it should work really good. Uh, should we try the other color? Yeah, let's do copper. Here. Start out with our magnets. Go mixy, mixy, mix. Just get a couple of drops in there around. Yeah, looks good, nice and coated. All right, let's try the styrofoam. Oh yeah, much runnier. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't look like a weird dye at all. Totally normal. A highly professional way to make. It has been enough time. I think our first one is, is ready for demold. Now, we had some issues with this. Yeah. We might redo it. Peeling, peeling the lid off. That was good. So, now we need to get it out of the mold. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, well. Uh, oh no, mm, uh, that was oh. definitely not liquid enough going in. Oh boy. We just Wait, got a lot howdy. of exposed styrofoam. <laughs> Listen, nobody would ever be able to tell you were cheating with this one. Hey, we still got a 20. <laughs> Proof of concept is good. Get a little bit in there, flowing around. Yes, okay. okay. Styrofoam, yeah, all that went so much faster than last time. Oh, it's flowing in much better. state-of-the-art, carefully manufactured lid weight. Let's find out what the top looks like. <gasps> Moment of truth. Come on, there we go. All right, already it looks really That cool. is pretty That's fun. That's nice. Oh, I like that. What happens they, uh, if you just roll it on the table first? Mm -hmm. Not a magnetic surface. This yep. is the one with magnets in it. Okay, huh? still not bad. I wouldn't say it's an even roll, oh, yeah. but 
Oh, 20. One hour later. So far, so good. Okay. Okay, okay. Pretty good. I like this. I weighed 3.72 or something like yeah. that. Three points. Okay, I'm gonna just get another one. Weigh that one. 3.73. Okay. And then our whole die is 7.21. Which so means that the weight is like half is the more die. <laughs> more than half. I love the weight distribution we have, and mm -hmm. I think that means it is time to test out our always win dice. <laughs> First, a control with a regular, theoretically, traditionally weighted die. Here we go. Fourteen. Eight. Eight. 20. Okay. okay. That was that was statistically longer than it should have taken, but like some of the numbers we still didn't even roll. Let's say you've got a critical moment coming up. You're just like, man, I really need to do well. Mm -hmm. Game's in the finale position. Time to bust out the champion die. Let's see how long it takes us to get a 20. Here we go. Oh, sweet, Woo! 20. Woo! First try, yeah. Let's try it again. Oh, sweet, another 20. 20. Four in a row. Your good, good, check. good. Oh, okay. 20. Your stealth check. I oh, only an eight. Oh, dang it, I missed that Performance check. Oh, okay. sweet, 20. Stealth oh. one, there we oh, go. 20. Uh, my character uh, tries to shoot an arrow through the window slit and, and have it just kind of, it's, it's a tower, a, yeah, a round tower, yeah. so I'm going through a slit and having it curve around the inside yep. wall to hit the bad guy There's in the back of the head. There's in there, you gotta yeah. miss him. Hit, okay. the, hit the bad guy in the back uh -huh. of the head. Natural 20! Came in clutch right at the right time. All right, you know what? The DM has accused me of having a weighted die. I'm gonna trade it out for this other one. Mm -hmm. Aww, oh. that's a two, I failed. I, I was shooting with advantage. Yeah, it's a 20! All right, so it is possible for it to not land on 20. So these two, the, the DM's like no we're, longer allowed to use We're this. like 80%, maybe 90% uh -huh. of the time getting 20s with that. And that's pretty good. What if that's not enough? Just like, no, no, I'll use a different die, but I do have to use my special die rolling pad. Go for it, roll. Yeah, it's a 20, look at that. Not even a little bit suspicious, like, that. Oh, oh. It's gotta have, gotta have good motion, I think, so, oh, even that. So it's not a full 100% of the time, but. That's pretty good. What if you just turn it, like, tip it on its side? <laughs> That was a normal roll, right? <laughs> 20! 20! Yeah! Well, does that count as a one or a 20? It's a 20, <laughs> don't be silly. You look at it, and there it is, 20, clear as day. <laughs> Three 20s at once. Oh no. 20, 20, 20! Three it was. DM, what if I roll both my D20s and I get a natural 20 on both of them? Oh, what, what, I did it! Oh, wow, I pulled off the amazing shot. It's perfect, look at that, 2020. Well, I think we have succeeded admirably today in making our, uh, what do we call them, rogues dice? Rogues dice. Rogues dice, yes. Yep. You, you just pull it out when anything is really important. Just mm -hmm. like, oh, it's my lucky die. And uh, it's, it's just a 20. Yeah, you rolled with inspiration. Exactly. <laughs> That's a lot of inspiration right there. Uh, Kelly, would you like to take a, a, D20, a weighted D20 home with you? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm actually playing tonight, so... Uh... Yeah, you take what you need. Yeah. As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. We could not do these videos without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description.